Hello everyone. Um, as you can see here, I have a wok and a pan and a lid. I use an oversized lid, um, basically just to let the steam out. If you have a lid that has the hole uh, and it that's built into it so that you can let the steam out, that's preferred by a lot because these can easily fall on their glass. So, <clears throat> um, other than that, you're going to need some rice and some olive oil and some soy sauce. Soy sauce. Uh, measuring cup this is a little bit of overkill, but it's what I could find for right now. A breast of chicken, and then whatever veggies you prefer. Um, I'm just putting green pepper in today because I thought I had some other things, but apparently I don't. Um, this is actually left over from last time, which is why it's pre-cut up like that. So beyond that, uh, basically what you want to do is get your green pepper and chop it into strips. Try to remove whatever it is you don't care for, you know, the seeds, whatever. Um, same thing with any other vegetable. When chopping, just like this. And you're going to do that with all those. Then you're going to do the same thing with the chicken. Cut it into strips as well. So, it's a little harder to do when it's raw like this as you can see. And so what I tend to do, instead of just cutting it into strips, is I tend to sort of do like a cut and pull, so that you sort of get a little bit of a, a strip of chicken, but at the same time it's sort of a, kind of like a pulled pork, pulled chicken, you know, in between. And try to get it fairly small, because you're going to be cooking these separately before everything else, and you want it to cook all the way through. Alright, so now I'm going to cook the rice and basically just want to make sure I get enough. Oh, no, I made a little bit of a mess there. So there's about two cups of rice. I'd say maybe closer to three personally, but I'll do about two and a half just to make sure there's enough for everybody here. Normally what people do is they bring the water to a boil and then add the rice, which is fine. You can do it however you want. Personally though, I put the rice in and then put the water in. And bring it to a boil. And basically you want to be pretty close um, in terms of the amount of water you're using. Within a half a cup or so, so if you do Two cups of rice, two cups of water, etc. So you don't want it to spill like that. And then get that started. And I put it at a mostly high heat, not all the way up, pretty close. And then use that serving. large ladle type spoon just to mix it in a little bit and I'll come back periodically and stir it but for now let that get ready to boil and in the meantime take a little bit put it in here you don't need a lot um, you're gonna use a little more later but for now that's all you really need and then let's move it around a little bit Every stove is different, but this, for this particular stove, this, as you can see, is a little different than the other three, and this one gets hotter, so I don't know how your stove is, but you might want to keep that in mind. Then you're going to put the chicken in there, and the goal here is to let it brown. to get it as flat as possible so that it cooks everything. Okay. When you're mixing the rice, 
make sure you're getting underneath the rice too. Now if you're wondering why I do the rice the way that I do it, the rice down. if you're wondering why I put the water in with the rice first, it's for two reasons. One is you got to let the water boil off, um, to a degree anyway, it's going to soak into the rice as well. And the other reason is that it makes it clumpier. And I personally like to eat with chopsticks, everybody's different, but whether you eat with a fork or chopsticks or a spoon or whatever your preference is, having it clumpy makes it so that when you're moving food onto whatever device, whatever utensil you prefer, it puts it together, keeps it together, and brings up the other food with it, the chicken, whatever vegetables you add into it. Now the chicken is going to cook pretty quick at the heat that I have it on. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to brown the outside a little bit. And then I'll be flipping them over. I think I need a longer. Do you want to start this? I recommend them. I do want to bring that a lot. Yeah, it's a little easier to one piece of butter. But this is kind of a good way to so I just lowered the heat a little bit, and now what it's going to do is it's going to cook more thoroughly inside of the chicken, and that's really important. It's really necessary to make sure that this works right. Now you can see with my rice, it's starting to take on a sort of milky look to it. And that's exactly what I want. That means it's soaking up the water. Not too much of it's boiling off. It's going to make it nice and fluffy. Um, and stick together real well, like I was saying. We want here. You can see the water's boiling now. And that's exactly what we wanted, like I said. I'm going to turn this down some, too. Because you don't want any of it to burn. And you want the water to soak in more so than burn off. Then, uh, kind of... Boil out. And at this point, I'm going to try to keep a little bit of the water in more so by using that. So, okay, so my bite, my my rice is about done here. Um, what I want to do now, now that it's fluffy and soaked up most of the water, is shut the heat off and let it sit still, soak up the rest of it. If you're wondering about timing, there isn't really a good timing. The best thing to do is try the rice, see if it's soaked up the water enough to where it's fluffy and it feels like it's it's really done. It's just like when you're cooking noodles, it's sort of the same process, except that, you know, you want to make sure that it's softer, but also it'll fluff up a little more than your average noodle, I would say. As for the chicken, you'll see that it's pretty golden brown for the most part with most of these now. Um, this is why you don't want too much oil. If you put too much oil, it's really kind of hard to get it that brown. But you don't want it to cook for too much more than this. So for now, I'm going to shut that off. And while that's in there doing its thing, I'm going to add the green pepper. And again, whatever vegetables you prefer. Onions are pretty common, obviously. Um, carrots are relatively good for something like this. Whatever you're into. And just spread that out again. I've already turned the heat back on. I'm gonna add a little more oil. And this time I'm gonna use a little more than I did the time before. Um, kinda wanna get a little bit on the veggies and you're going to want it to soak into the rice a little bit when you add the rice. So you're going to want to put quite a bit of olive oil. Um, I eye it, but however you feel is necessary. I think you've seen how much I put on there. And then I'm going to put this back on. I don't like to add oil when the heat's on. Usually it's not a problem. It doesn't explode on you, but it's not something that I care to have accidentally drip over the side and then I cause a problem. Usually with a wok, it's not a big deal, but it just depends on what you're using and what you're comfortable with, you know? You're cooking for yourself, so be comfortable with how you're cooking. 
point I'm going to grab a spatula. I prefer a spatula. Everybody has their own thing to use though. I try to use a skinnier spatula if one's available. Today it's pretty much average. Just mix the veggies and the chicken up a little bit. Letting them fry a little. Then I'm going to add the rice. I shouldn't have to worry too much about water being in the rice. Um, just in case though, you can scoop it out a little bit just like this. But you can see there's, there's very little water in here. The rice is pretty much soaked it up. And that's how it should be. Exactly what you want. You can see how it clumps together. I mean, it's almost like mashed potatoes, <laughs> how, how well it clumps. Don't ever reach over like that. It's really not a good idea. I shouldn't have done it myself. That is how you get burned. Much easier to deal with it like this. I'm just trying to mix everything up pretty good here. And again, I'm going to add just a little bit more olive oil. Not a lot at this point. Um, I pretty much have enough in there. This just add a little flavoring, more so than it is for cooking. And it's just flavoring for the rice. So I try to just drizzle a little bit here and there. And again, it's just eyed, whatever, you know. And then cook that in as well. Try to really spread it out. Really get the flavor together here. Let that cook for a second. And this is where the soy sauce comes in. I personally don't like salt, and soy sauce tends to be pretty salty. They do have some lower salt varieties, um, so I guess it's just your preference. I know a lot of people like salt, but I personally am just not a big fan. So I try not to overdo the soy sauce too much, but you know, cook to your preference. That's the whole point of cooking for yourself, to enjoy it, right? Um, that's probably going to make a mess. I wish I had a napkin to put that on. It's going to leak over. It is what it is. That's the design of it. Now we're going to mix that together real good. And you want to try to get it as you're cooking. I try to keep a little bit towards the center where there's a thin area. Right where the heat's the hottest. So that it's frying it as well. So you see as I'm mixing it in, I'm not just trying to mix it, I'm also trying to fry it up some. And the more you get it to fry up there, the better. And in fact, I think I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit more. I think it needs a little more soy sauce than is currently in there.
here's why I think the spatula is good. Um, as nice as it is to have rice's carbs, but it tends to be a little bit better for you in, in terms of things like bread, for example. And you got grilled chicken for your protein. Um, like I said, get as many vegetables as you can so that you have as many vitamins and minerals. And beyond that, you have dinner. So, thank you. I appreciated uh, you spending the time with me today. Thank you.